Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're actually going to do a very different kind of video, something that I don't think I've ever done before. I'm going to unbox this new camera from Canon. Canon have sent me their new camera, which I am so excited about because it is completely aimed towards vloggers. It looks incredible. This is the PowerShot V10, obviously from Canon. I've been sent the vlogging kit, which comes with a few other bits and bobs. From what I've seen in the pictures though, this camera looks so tiny and I can't wait to unbox it. I'm seriously fed up of carrying around huge cameras that don't fit in handbags and always draw attention from people when you're filming yourself because I am quite shy in public and I just get so nervous when I hold up my big camera and I start talking. I mean, that's something that I do need to get better at. But we are now like 10 years into this channel and it's still something I struggle with. So I'd kind of taken recently to filming on my phone because it's a lot more inconspicuous than a big camera. But I think that this camera is gonna kind of bridge the gap between that for me because because it does look so small and a lot like a phone that I don't think I'll feel as shy filming in public. Anyways, I have just opened this box. First of all, let's open the actual camera and then we will open the little additions to it, the accessories, if you will. So as I said, this is the Canon PowerShot V10 camera. My gosh, even the box it comes in is so tiny compared to cameras that I've opened before. Looks like you've got a few instructions of how to use it straight away on the box. Ooh. I'm excited. We've got all of the little booklets and stuff. Oh my gosh, it is tiny. This is the smallest camera I think I've ever held. Wow. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with it already. Let's learn about the features of this camera together and then I might do a little bit of vlogging with it and let's see how it performs out in the wild. Yeah, this is what the camera looks like. It's tiny. I've got the smallest hands ever and it is so much smaller than them. It's got a flip out screen which is perfect for when you are vlogging. Just hold it like that and you can see yourself. Oh my gosh, something that I love about this camera is that you hold it up like this. Like normally if you're vlogging your camera would be this way but you hold it up straight and it captures landscape footage which is amazing. This is something that I've been wanting for honestly years. As you can see it's been held up straight like that and it is still capturing wide format and then I guess if you did want to film for social media like TikTok or Instagram Reels you can just turn it this way, hold it like you would a normal camera. This is such a cool feature to me already. I'm just gonna have a look around this camera myself and then we will go into the actual details of it. But it looks like it's got a little inbuilt stand, which is so cool. The amount of times I forget to take my tripod places and I have to balance my camera on such like weird mountains of things is crazy. But this has got its own built-in stand and it actually goes the other way too. So if you wanted to film your camera down at something you can and it's just inbuilt into this stand that is so cool it just means that all you have to take with you is this one camera and you don't have to take a bunch of other stuff if you don't want to or you don't have space okay let's go into some actual details but my first impression of this is that it looks so cool and I can't wait to dive in so as I said this is a dedicated vlogging camera designed to inspire the next generation of content creators and boost their production quality setup the v10 is lightweight and compact it's a video first vlogging camera a lot of cameras that I have used in the past have been more aimed at taking photos and like video is kind of second. So they don't always give you all the features that you'd be looking for. I'm actually gonna switch over to this camera to film the rest of this video. Like why not? It's right here. We're gonna swap in three, two, one one. Oh my gosh. My first impression, the first thing that I noticed about this camera is how wide of an angle it's given me. It's actually got a 19 millimeter wide lens, which means that it just gets a whole bunch more of your surroundings into the frame, which is so important for vlogging. Like when you're filming, you want to be able to hold your camera and it see the whole of the shot and not just a little zoomed in face. If you guys have shaky hands like I do, editing footage for me is a nightmare. I have to actually manually go in after, like when I'm editing, on Final Cut Pro, I have to manually go in and apply an image stabilization filter to my footage because when I'm holding my camera, my hands are so shaky that it just like shakes around. But doing that takes so much time. And what I love about this camera is that it's actually got a built-in digital image stabilization. It does crop the screen a tiny bit once you put it on just to kind of make room for all of the movement and all of the stabilization that it has to do. But basically what you can do is you can put the stabilization on. There's two modes for it. There's 
as just normal stabilization and then enhanced where it does crop even more but it gives you super smooth footage all you have to do though is put stabilization on so if I was walking down the street holding my camera normally it would be so shaky and I would have to apply that filter in Final Cut Pro which takes ages to load I could just switch it on on this camera and it does all the work for me and I cannot wait to vlog with that because it's gonna save me so much time in post-production. PowerShot V10 also has built-in audio noise reduction microphones, which are perfect for vlogging in busy environments. I haven't actually been able to listen to the audio of this camera yet. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think about it, but it does have two microphones on the top. So I'm assuming it's gonna be very good. Other features that this camera offers are face tracking autofocus. There's a smooth skin shooting mode. So if you guys maybe wanna add a little bit of a smooth filter to your skin. I don't personally have that on right now, but you can if you want. It's compact and lightweight at just 211 grams. There's 14 color filter effects, movie feature image stabilization, as I've already spoken about, a 19 millimeter wide lens, and a two inch LCD tilt up screen. So you are able to tilt the screen up and see yourself while you're filming, which is a necessity for vlogging. Got to make sure that you're in focus and all that jazz. I'm going to take this camera around with me. I'm actually heading to London in a couple of days, and I'm going to take this camera with with me and test it out and see what I think and I'll be sure to give you a review at the end but one thing we do need to do is actually unbox all the little accessories that I got in this set. So it looks like Canon have teamed up with Small Rig to create specific accessories for this camera and this one looks like it's a lens cap. It's actually a silicon lens cap. I don't think I've ever had a silicon lens cap for a camera before. They all, they're all normally like hard. Oh wow this feels like it's going to be great. Super squishy. You can just shove this in your bag. It goes over the lens. Mmm, that's gonna be great for out and about. This is a carrying bag. Oh, this is gonna be so handy. It's just a little bag for you to put your camera in. So obviously I will just put the lens on pop it in its little bag and carry it around with me. And then the last thing are these furry windscreens. I think in the camera world they're actually called dead cats, which I don't love. Oh my gosh, they're so cute though. These are something that you put over the microphones and if it's a super windy day, they basically muffle the wind, which is amazing. I'm actually just gonna pop these on now. Oh, they go on with magnets. That is fantastic. That shouldn't change the sound quality at all. It just means that you can vlog when it's windy. And they look so cute. I'm going to take a picture of this. <laughs> you guys need to see this. Okay, I'm going to take this camera out into the world with me and see what I think about it. I'll get back to you. Okay, it's time to try on clothes for this trip. I only really need like four outfits, five at the most. We're going for three days, but obviously I need like nighttime stuff as well. So let's go. I think this is going to be my afternoon tea outfit. So I'm going to pack this one. I think this one might be my like tourist day outfit with my brown belt, which I can't be bothered to put on. But there you go. Okay, I might have changed my mind. This might be my afternoon tea dress. Cam says it might be a bit wintry, which honestly, yes. But I do feel like I'd be comfy in it and it is kind of like a bit more posh, you know? I like the white belt as well at the back. We will be calling at Burgess Hill, Haywards Heath, Three Bridges, Gatwick Airport, East Croydon, London Bridge, London Blackfriars, City Thameslink. So as soon as we got to London, we decided to get a taxi straight to our hotel. It was really, really hot this day and we both had suitcases, so we didn't wanna try and attempt the tube, even though I absolutely love the tube. Anyways, we woke up the next day, got the tube and headed to afternoon tea at the Langham Hotel. Cam and I went to afternoon tea last time we were in London and we actually put on an afternoon tea for her mum when we were in America for American Mother's Day and she loved it. So we just knew that while her parents were in the UK, we wanted to take them for afternoon tea to experience it properly. Good morning guys. Thought I would update you 
while I'm just having a bathroom break. We are in the Langham Hotel, bringing Cam's parents for afternoon tea, and it's Michelle Rue Jr. who does the afternoon tea, so that's exciting. Cam's dad is actually vegan, so there's a good vegan menu too. It's so fancy here. So we had a bunch of little sandwiches. My favorite was actually the brioche roll with egg mayonnaise. Then it was on to desserts, and we had scones as well. Okay, we just finished afternoon tea at the Langham and I wanted to give you my review because me and Cam actually went to afternoon tea at Sketch last time she was in London. And I do have to say, I preferred Sketch's food. Their food was a lot better, but like the atmosphere here was so nice. It was in the nicest, like prettiest room. I feel like at Sketch you were kind of crammed together, but here there was like a lot more space and yeah, I preferred it for that reason. I think we're now gonna head to Selfridges because Cam's mum was talking about Selfridges. I can't remember why she wanted to go, but I will ask her and like fill in the gaps. Anyway, here's a double decker London bus if you've never seen one. Okay, so Cam's mum watched a show about Selfridges and that is why she would like to visit. It was about like how it was made and stuff. I will leave a link to it below if any of you want to watch it because it sounds interesting. This building is so pretty. I don't know what it is, but oh my God, it's gorgeous. I would love to live there. So we went on our merry little way down Oxford Street to Selfridges. I love Selfridges, it's so fancy. I wish I could go in on a huge shopping trip and just buy one of everything. Elon Musk, if you're listening, send me some dollar bills, please, so I can buy some nice handbags. Oh my God, the lighting in here, guys. I can't film in our room because the lighting does this. So I will talk to you in a sec. Okay, hello guys. I'm trying a different mode right now. I'm trying the enhanced stabilization mode, which makes it a little bit more zoomed in. But I'm gonna be walking around a lot and I found that when I walk a lot, it kind of bounces. But anyways, we are off on a walking tour. Never been on anything like this, but I'm intrigued. I think this is our group for the tour. A uh, warm welcome uh, to you all from London Walks. So now, my name is uh, is Andrew. So the foundations here date back to right about 200 AD. interesting I'm learning loads this type of tour is something that I've never done before and something that I would never think to do of my own accord but it was genuinely so interesting and I would recommend to have a look around at what tours are going on in London if you are going to visit parents actually went to the Tower of London this morning and we were supposed to go to that but Cam woke up and just wasn't well at all so I decided to stay with her but yeah I'm intrigued to see what they thought of the Tower of London I think they did a tour and saw like all of the crown jewels and everything I did want to give you an update on the tour though yesterday. That was amazing. The tour guide Andrew was so good and I would recommend you go on it. I think it was like two hours long. If you're into true crime, it was really, really interesting. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Oh, and we are going to see a show later. We're gonna see the 222 ghost story. This is like the worst lane to vlog on because cars keep going past it and it is so loud. But yeah, we're gonna go and see the 222 ghost story, which I've wanted to see for ages. I know Cheryl used to be in it, but now it's Sophia bush from One Tree Hill and I think Cam used to watch that I'm not too sure I'm lost I have found it just around this corner Thank you. hello everybody I just made it back to the hotel I've had a little outfit change because it is so hot out there today but Cam is awake how are you feeling I'm okay you're okay mm. 
We've actually both been ill since we got home to England and I feel like maybe we had different things and now you've got the thing that I had, mm -hmm. which sucks because you were just feeling better. Anyways, we're gonna head for some lunch. Your parents are still at the Tower of London. They're tearing it up in there. They are having a big old day there. But yeah, let's go get some lunch. Hopefully you'll feel a bit better after that. Ooh, it is. A beautiful warm day. I wish we were having another beach day in Brighton right now. That would be lovely. We had one before we came to London and it was so nice and I actually got in the sea for the first time ever in England. For the second time today, I am lost. Oh my God, look at this cute little door. <laughs> That's so cute. We found the place and it looked like they were just about to close. So now we're gonna go find a pub. We just passed one, it looked really cute. And Cam has never had fish and chips in England. So I feel like this is a rite of passage. This area of London is gorgeous. We're right by the Tower of London. We're like behind it and it is so pretty. Yeah, the tower's over there. Outfit change number two of the day. We are now off to, where are we going? The Apollo Theatre to watch 2.22, but I think we're gonna get some food before. I actually took Cam to the pub for fish and chips and we both liked it, but we're just both not feeling too well today, so we didn't eat too much of it, but yeah, it was nice. It actually was nice. I would recommend going there if you're near here. They had these like smashed peas that I really enjoyed. I'm so excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this show. I don't think it's a musical. It's more just like a play, but actually my decorator who comes to paint my rooms, he went for his birthday and he very nearly ruined the show for me. And I was just like, John, don't tell me anymore. I might go. And now I'm finally going, so. It's got Sophia Bush in it. Yeah, it's got Sophia Bush in. Did you watch One Tree Hill? No, but I know who she is. Me either. So we headed on the tube again, made our way to Piccadilly Circus, and we actually found this little cafe. I think it was called the Cinema Cafe, but we just stopped in here. I had a latte and a pizza, and it was actually really good. It was pretty much opposite 222. Nice and quiet, so a really good place to get some food and a drink if you are going to a show. 222 was amazing. I loved it. It was kind of scary, and it had a huge twist at the end, which I'm not going to spoil, but I would really recommend going. And then we just had a little walk around the West End and Chinatown to end the trip. Hello everybody, as you can see I'm back in my flat and I'm here to recap my final thoughts on the Canon PowerShot V10 camera. My overall thought of the camera is that I love it. I think it is gonna be game changing in the vlogging world. Things that I love about it, how small it is, it literally will just fit in any bag, any pocket, it fits in your hands so easily. It's very ergonomic how you use it, you basically hold it up and the record button is right where your thumb is. So it's so easy to press record and start filming. One of my favorite features of this camera is the built-in stand that it's got. That is so helpful. I've actually filmed quite a bit with the PowerShot V10 in the last week or so for different videos and I am loving the built-in stand. I'm loving the wide angle. For me, the wide angle works the best when you're not moving. I have very, very shaky hands. So obviously when I do have the wide angle on and walk, the stabilization isn't best, but I do love the fact that you get the stabilization modes on the camera so I can just click it on and know that my footage will be a lot steadier. However, when I do click stabilization on, I do miss the super wide angle. I think the microphones in this camera are great. You can hear everything I'm saying super clearly, even in busy places. So I'm definitely loving the microphones as well. Like this video has been a joy to edit. Something that I do actually quite like about this camera is that when I've gone to edit this video, a lot of the clips look kind of like vintagey vibes. For me, I really do like that vibe. I know for other people that might be something that they don't personally like and because you can't change the lens, that is a bit tricky. But I do really like the colors that this camera shoots in. I think it makes it look like a little bit vintagey. The only tiny thing that I would change about this camera is I wish it had a detachable lens. I think the quality of this camera for how small it is, is amazing. But I do wish that you could click your own little lens on. Now that does take away 
from how small the camera is. Like this is meant to be just a one-stop shop for a vlogging camera. You just pick this up, take it around everywhere with you. Don't have to think about anything else. And for that, it is perfect. But if there was one little change that I could make to the camera, it would be having the option to put a lens on it if you want to. I think the camera body with how small it is with just a little lens on it to improve the quality even more would be amazing. But overall, I love this camera. I can see it being the new it camera that everybody is going to use. I would recommend it if you want to start vlogging. I'd recommend it if you are wanting to start just documenting your own memories anyway. And yeah, this is definitely the new camera that I'm going to be using in a lot of my vlogs. So hopefully you like it. I'm obsessed with the wide angle. It's so nice to just pop it down on a surface and film whatever you want to film. Like I built some furniture the other day and I just put it down and my other camera that I was using before did not have an angle this wide and it wouldn't have picked up even half the shot that the PowerShot V10 did. If you want to check out this camera, I'm going to leave a link below in the down bar. Would seriously recommend it to any vloggers out there. And it's also an amazing camera if you're wanting to film short form content for like TikTok and Instagram. So simple and easy to take around with you. I know a lot of us run out of storage very quickly on our phones. This is a very good option for that as well. Huge thank you to Canon for sending me this camera, letting me try it out. And yeah, check the down bar if you would like to check it out. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.